that same act of kindness, that mercy, if you will, to his elect here in his lifetime. And just like then, now it all starts with the Lord revealing himself by sending forth his word. See? Which brings us back full circle, if you will, to what we open up with right here.
recovery. That's the chronological order. Before ultimately the Lord manifests his mercy in delivering us from this destruction, he will reveal unto us his truth, man. He will send his word forth. See? That's the chronological order right there. That pretty much cements and staples, if you will, this mercy that the Lord promised to his elect. It will be, you know, cemented by where the Lord giving us this truth, revealing unto us hidden things. See? Which brings me right here. To the book of Psalms, chapter 107. And starting at the 19th verse, it says, Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their destructions. Yeah, and this trouble right here will ultimately be manifested in the form of what the scriptures have coined as the time of Jacob's trouble, which is fast approach. Well, guess what? There are certain spirits here on the planet Earth that's going to call out to the Heavenly Father in that trouble, and he's going to deliver them out of those distresses. And how would the Lord go about establishing that salvation, if you will? Well, let's read on. It says he sent his word, <laughs> see? He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Yeah, let's read this again. He sent his word, which again is the first step, if you will, on his road to recovery. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them, see, and delivered them from their destructions, which in this case would be the deliverance from this destruction of this place, America, Babylon the Great. <laughs> see? But again, what established that salvation, the Lord sent his word. He gave you insight concerning his plans and purposes concerning the overthrow of Babylon the Great, which that was the case in the time of Noah, in the old world, which we often harp on, and rightfully so. Even our Lord Yahweh Shai made comparisons, you know, uh, concerning the parallels of those two worlds, the days of Noah and the time that we're in now. And again, we're established Noah's salvation where well, the Lord sent forth his word he gave him insight <laughs> he revealed unto him hidden things he briefed him you know pretty much warned him concerning his judgment that he had prepared for that time which came in the form of the flood <laughs> see well guess what that applies to now which gives credence to the idea of mercy <laughs> being cemented being fashioned if you will by way of the Lord revealing himself and exposing you to this truth you know, send them forth his word. See? Which is actually the ultimate act of mercy. So y'all just wanted to touch on that, Lord willing. It was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.